Happy Mother's Day to all the sweet mamas, and I have a special message for you. And if your mama was not a nice mama, I also have a message for you. To my mom, what does a mom really want for her children? And this is my mama, Monica. Hello. So some tips that I wanted to share with mamas that maybe uh, they have lost touch with their daughters because of something they did or that happened in the past. If you want to make things better, know that you can't go to the past and fix things, right? Some, some events are unfixable. But sometimes as daughters or sons, what we want as your children, sometimes we just want validation. We don't want you to fix it. We just want you to acknowledge if traumatic, especially if traumatic events happen, to say, I hear you, I'm sorry, and with the knowledge that I have now, I would have not let that ever happen to you. Because there's nothing worse that you can do is that to say, no, I don't want to hear it, and close the door and be and make it in a way that's something that is spoken about. You're hurting your children even more. If you have a mama that she doesn't want to be in your life, or when she's in your life, or with all these self-sabotage and bad things happen, you can be grateful for not having her in your life, actually, because it could bring a lot of pain and suffering to your life. So you can choose the path of reverting and cutting the cycle from going through generation to generation. You can be the one that in your generation stops that dysfunction cycle and changes the story forever for the next generations to come. So become everything that, that hurts you, do the opposite, cut the cycle. That was one of the biggest lessons I learned from my mom. So if you have a mama that's not willing to ask you to forgiveness or work a relationship with you or have a relationship with you, the best gift you can give yourself is to forgive her. Forgiveness does not mean that you approve of her behavior, but forgiveness is for you. You can practice also. There's a video in this channel on the Ho'oponopono where I explain how it can release you from these ties and you deserve to give yourself the gift of forgiveness. You need to lift that weight off your shoulders. And remember, sometimes the best gift some parents can give us is being absent, actually, to be able to be successful in spite of them. And you can do it. And you can reverse it in a, in a way that you can be making your greatest teacher. Like Wayne Dyer, I don't know if you have heard his story with his father. He was absent and he turned it so he'll be his greatest teacher because then you'll know exactly the type of mother you don't want to be. And a big message I want to give to my mom and all the mamas out there on Mother's Day, sometimes you really wish you would have given your children more, right? Or you compare yourself with other parents who have the money or resources and they give other opportunities to their children and you bash yourself because you can't. But this is the ultimate test if you are a good parent, is this question. Did you give your children the opportunities, better opportunities that you didn't have in your life? Did you change the cycle? Did you cut the dysfunction? Did you better their lives from what was given to you? And that's how you ultimately, I can tell you, you were a successful and an awesome parent if you did this. It's not completely tied to money. It's compared to what it was your life like if you improved your children's from what you had. That's the ultimate test. So don't be comparing yourself with other parents. And to all the hardworking mamas, I ask of you to please take care of yourself 
And you don't have to say always yes to us, to whatever we ask. Sometimes that can be harmful because you're enabling us. So sometimes saying no it could be good. And give yourself, put yourself back in your priority list and do a lot of self-care this Mother's Day. And not only on Mother's Day, every day. And make sure you take care of yourself. You fill your glass first. Don't allow yourself to be depleted. Take some time to pursue your own dreams and do things that make you tick, things that really make you happy. And that includes time on by yourself if that's what you need. Give yourself time. And talking about time, that's the best gift you can give to your mama. If you don't have the money right now or resources, Give yourself, your mom, time and attention. She will be so happy that that's the Mother's Day gift that you give her. There's nothing that can buy time. And special thanks to all the mamas that are in their children's lives and that keep helping them and believing them. Thank you so much in this Mother's Day. You are making the world a better place, and I'm so grateful for you. And I'm grateful to my mama, and I want to say I'm so grateful for you in this video. You are so brave, and you're my inspiration for becoming the best person I can be for my children that haven't been born. And that's why I'm working on being the best person I can be, because I love them already so much. So thank you, mama. If you could have one wish for me and my children, what would it be? Just one wish? Just one wish. <laughs> to have a happy life? <laughs> That's all.